Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Triplus and today I will be showing you how I set up my home assistant in a way that I'm able to access it from anywhere in the world and quite secure in my opinion. So as you can see, all my devices are linked in my home network, which is not accessible from the outside. And I also have no plans to port forward or anything like that because my ISP is not the easiest to do those things with. And I also just find it a lot of uh, a lot of overhead to keep like the DIN DNS service and so on working. But I still wanted to access my home assistant from the outside. And the first step that I took in this adventure was to set up OpenVPN. So I have a dedicated server running somewhere and I installed OpenVPN on there, connected all my devices to this OpenVPN service and voila, I was able to reach everything the way I wanted via my phone, which has a VPN client running via any computer on which I had my VPN credentials, it's a security file and so on, but it was quite useful. And yeah, I liked it for quite a while, but then of course I wanted more. So I started using own tracks. I started using Google home and those services do require some direct access to your home assistant instance. For the own tracks, you can still do it over VPN and that works. But when your, well, when your VPN drops, it gets very angry at you and it's not that optimal. And for the Google Assistant integration, you just need the Google Cloud services to connect to your Home Assistant device without any VPN in between because it, it's not possible to do it that way. So then I started thinking and of course I came with Nginx. Nginx is uh, uh, this is a software that you can use to create a reverse proxy and that's exactly what I did. So right now I'm able to use my home assistant or my Nginx server, which is installed on, on my dedicated server to connect to home assistant. So for the past two and a half minutes that you hear me ramble on this, you've seen my website open. And the reason why is because I tried recording this video quite a few times already. And it's quite difficult to show you things that I'm unable to replicate without showing you my, my real uh, life environment. And it's something I don't want to do because this is again, externally accessible and that makes it a little bit more dangerous in my opinion. So I read it, everything on my dedicated server to confirm everything works. I deleted as much of the references as possible to my, uh, my server. So everything should be fine. And I know for sure that this works. I'm going to redo as much as possible on my Raspberry Pi, but again, because I don't have a domain name and so on, it's not possible to do everything. But let's try it anyway. So the first thing that you will need is to install Nginx and the Python Certbot Nginx components or packages. The second one here, which we will use later for uh, securing our connection to Nginx. Of course, I have already installed this uh, because I've done this video quite a few times already. And now I'm going to show you my config file. So what you need to do is create a config file in your sites enabled folder of the Nginx uh, config directory. And the way I'm naming this is basically the domain name that I'm using. So yeah, if your domain is myhasserver.com, I would call this my this myhasserver.com. In this file, you will be able to copy this example over here that I've written. And this will basically allow your home assistant, like this screen to connect uh, or to, to show via your Nginx server. In this, I have a little bit more examples because we'll be showing those later, but it is important to put your server name. So the actual Nginx server that you're going to use the host name of. And then this is the IP address of your home assistant behind your VPN or however you're going to connect this. Then the most important thing that I had some issues with is these two lines here. You need those to allow WebSockets because WebSockets are required for home assistant. As you will be able to see later, like in the API webhooks and so on, I don't have those because those URLs don't use WebSockets. So that, that's quite important. 
But once you have this, uh, and if I then open my browser, and I go to uh, this, so the, the 110, which is my, if I do here, IF config, and you also see the, the config file is called 110, you see here that it is indeed uh, that value, and I'm able to connect without any problem. So that's the first step. But of course, doing it this way still allows anyone who has your URL to just use your home assistant. If your password isn't that secure, they can probably just enter everything. Um, and that's also not my preference. So what did I do in the end? I removed location just at the trailing slash so that it just goes immediately to there and I started like really splitting up my remote address. So for Google Assistant, I just created this for the API webhook. I also just did this and this allows me to just give the services that I want to access my home assistant, give those access via the proxy and the rest of the services are not accessible from anywhere. I'm still using my VPN client to connect to my home assistant if I need it. My own tracks can use this webhook from anywhere in the world without needing my VPN active. And Google Assistant is also able to connect to my home assistant via my Nginx server. So this allowed me, yeah, and okay. So this allowed me to, uh, to use everything the way I wanted. Everything was working fine, but of course I wanted an additional layer of security. So that is where the Serbot comes in. So you use a Serbot comment, the Nginx flag, because it will add some lines in your Nginx. And then again, the domain you, you purchased that you link to your server, which Nginx is running. So once you do this, it comes with some steps that you need to do. And again, unfortunately, I'm unable to show you this, but this will allow you to choose to create a new certificate. Um, and force HTTPS, and that's exactly what you need to do. So you just take the most logical choices in this. If you have questions again, just reach out to me, but that should be fine. And once you did that, it will add some lines to, to your home assistant configuration because you forced HTTPS. The moment you connect to it, it will go to HTTPS automatically. And from now on, everything you do via your Nginx service is secure and encrypted which is very nice. And then here you can see my final overview of my server block uh, in my Nginx config. As you can see, I only have those two active. Okay, my, yeah. Those two active. These are not active. I have them in comment in case I need to add an additional service. I can just temporarily enable everything again, do all my config, and then I can make sure that it's not related to my proxy that the problems are occurring. I think this was a rather short video and maybe the, not the most um, demoable one because it's quite a touchy subject to just use uh, services that are externally accessible. But I hope this gave you like a general idea how you can also access your home assistant from anywhere in the world in a secure way, which is, I guess, what everyone wants. So thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and I see you in the next one. Bye.